وذكر فإن الذكرى تنفع المؤمنين Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I get asked a lot how I found my way to Islam. So in this video, I will be talking about how God guided me back to the right path after being very much stranded, I would say. I'ma start with my early story shortly. I used to be Sandro. Today, I accepted two new names, changed my identity even on my passports, and go by Isa Ibrahim Bradera. I was raised by a Croatian Catholic family close to Stuttgart in Germany. Most of my family is originally from Bosnia and Herzegovina. I have a lot of Christian believers in my family, however, we were not really the every Sunday go to church type of family. I used to be a very problematic child. I know you shouldn't be talking about your sins, but from young ages I used to get in trouble a lot and the devil in me just didn't want to let me go. Uh, I created myself a lot of problems, got kicked out of school, almost ended up in prison at young ages, messed up my football career multiple times and acted emotionally and stupidly on a very regular basis. It was not until my last two years of college when I became a little more open-minded and serious about my life that things started changing. I started reading a lot, started discovering myself, meditation, yoga, and stuff like that. And I believe especially meditation had a great impact on all of it. Because only in, in silence can you truly discover yourself, I believe. I just kind of learned how to listen to myself, to the inner voice that should be guiding all of us. I just wanted to get to know myself deeper. I didn't really feel the need to go to parties anymore or drink or anything similar. I just wanted to be left alone in solitude and discover the world and all of its miracles. I started going to church more often, started reading the Bible, but I felt that there is something bigger. I didn't really believe that Jesus was God in the first place and I didn't understand the whole concept of Trinity at all. I mean, I believe I'd never believed in Jesus as a God. There were just too many questions unanswered in Christianity and I was seeking answers. At that time, I was probably pretty nicely brainwashed about Islam, pretty negative inclination about the whole thing. But whoever makes one step towards God, he will make ten towards him. And that's kind of what happened. Uh, I continued seeking knowledge and truth and very miraculously books, videos, and signs of all kinds were coming my way. For example, I remember one dream as it was yesterday. There was like a book flying around in my dream and angels were around it and it was all so beautiful and calming. And uh, through like dream interpretations and stuff, I, I knew that God wanted to tell me that this is one specific book. Obviously, I didn't know at that time that it was the Quran, but uh, later on, once I figured it out and I put the pieces together, I was so grateful and uh, I until today, I cannot forget this dream. It's like it was yesterday. Or another sign is like when I opened up YouTube and a video popped up or someone reciting verses of the Quran in Arabic and I just had so many goosebumps and tears were coming in my eyes really. So basically, eventually I let go of my ego. God made it way too clear for me and even before I, I read the Quran myself, I accepted Islam and spoke out my Shahada in San Francisco back in 2020. My family thought that I'm about to join, so whatever, you know how the brainwashed world works, they thought I'm going to war right away and fight. But once I started picking up knowledge and talking to them openly, they calmed down with time and they knew that I'm a smart man and I won't do harm to anybody. I just felt so blessed and chosen when I read some verses in the Quran like, Allah guides whom he wills. and. I really felt so blessed and, and chosen, I can't put it in words. Looking at it today, it was really amazing how he guided me and continues to do so. I cannot explain how grateful I am to be a Muslim nowadays and to continue seeking knowledge and working on my relationship with Allah. So I also decided to be a mentor, a guide to people who want to get closer to God. I start talking about Abrahamic religions on all my channels and spreading his light. Many family members still don't understand it and some don't want to have anything to do with me but that's okay, I guess. I'm only creating happiness and things that are making my creator proud, that are making me happy, other people happy, and nobody but him has to understand me and my mission at the end of the day. Uh, the world is misguided nowadays and Iblis army or the devil's army is stronger than ever. However, I will be trying to free, awaken and transform as many souls as I possibly can. I love everybody and we all deserve to be happy and to see each other in heaven one day, inshallah. I hope you get a better picture on how I find my way to Islam. Yes, yeah, so at the end, make sure to subscribe to my channels.
follow me across all social media because there's much more coming, I hope. All links should be in the description. Peace out, Isa.